Yo, what up? Welcome to a quicker video on something that I bought the other day. So, for the longest time, I have liked Pokemon, and I've liked the Pokemon games on the Game Boy Advance. So, I have almost every single one that was released for the GBA. As you can see, here's Fire Red, here's the back, here's uh, Leaf Green, the back, here's Ruby, and the back's kind of covered up by a sticker, and we also have Emerald. Well, Emerald version was actually the very first version on GBA that I ever beat. So this, this one holds a... This is the uh, first version of GBA Pokemon I've ever beat. You might notice I'm missing one cartridge. I don't have Sapphire. And now they want crazy money for them. So the other day, Dad wanted me to get something off of AliExpress. So I took the opportunity and I bought myself a reproduction cartridge. On AliExpress, they were about $6. And just the other day, it arrived. Here is my uh, reproduction Pokemon Sapphire cartridge. I don't think this is the right label. But it's close enough. The cartridge is blue. So it matches up with uh, Ruby here pretty well. And I don't think it looks too bad for its price. I'm not saying this is a replacement for people who want to collect authentic cartridges. I'm just saying I think it looks nice to complete my uh, my uh, GBA. Oh shit, I dropped, uh, I dropped Leaf Green. To complete my... GBA Pokemon collection, but there are a couple of knows that noticeable differences between in a real Gen 3 game and a fake one. The big one is on the back. Uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this because the iPhone 5s kind of stinks, but uh, the real ones use a tri-wing. The real ones use a tri-wing screw. Uh, this fake one just uses a Phillips head. So the other difference, from at least what I've been able to observe, is on the inside of the cartridge. So let me just move these cartridges out of the way. I got some screwdriver pits here. So let me see if I can find um, where is... Ah, uh, there we go. So we can take this screw out of the back of my legitimate Pokemon Emerald cartridge. And I've never actually opened the GBA game before. So, ah, just slides down like a regular Game Boy game. Okay. You can see on the inside, it actually does have a, uh, a clock battery. So it can keep track of the time correctly and stuff. But this one, as far as I was able to tell from the outside, does not do that. So we'll take a Phillips head screwdriver. And we'll go ahead. Uh, excuse me. We'll go ahead and we'll take the little screw out. Should just slide down, maybe? Ah, uh, yes, it also slides down like Emerald did. Uh, yeah, this is significantly uh, less good than the real cartridge. It's got an epoxy blob on it, I, I'm sure. I'm not trying to say epoxy blob means bad. I'm just saying that, like, obviously, this is, they cheaped out on the circuit board a lot. But they did try and make it look real because, like, they obviously have the, uh, Nintendo logo on it. But, like, I feel bad for people who would buy these thinking 
their real cartridges or like pay real cartridge money for it but the the listing the listing on aliexpress pretty much said that they were wait did i put this on right no i did not hang on the listing on aliexpress pretty much said they were uh uh reproduction cartridges and not actual cartridges so <laughs> Uh, I guess they just wanted to make it look like a real one so that they can scam people on like eBay out of paying good money for these uh, or scam people on eBay for buying these cartridges thinking they were real, which I'll admit is pretty scummy of them. But like people have been doing this shit for years, so I don't really blame them for that. Uh, we're just gonna screw this back together. Alright, there. Now we have our cartridges. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. As you can see, I've put this cartridge back together. And now we can go over how they perform. First, we will be testing... In our Game Boy Advance. This is my uh, AGB001 modded GBA with the classic style AGS101 backlight mod. So if I turn it on here, you can see it's got a backlight because it's based on the AGS101 screen. So first, here's my real copy my legitimate copy of Pokemon Emerald. As you can see, it slides in and out of the cartridge slot really easily. Snaps into place, and it's flush the Game Boy. You can turn it on. As you can see, it works fine. Yep, beautiful. So we can take this out. Here is the re the reproduction cartridge of Pokemon Sapphire. The first thing you'll notice is that it's not as smooth as the real one. I thought this might be because of how I put it back together, but no. As far as I can tell, this is... Wait a moment. I think it is actually fucked up slightly. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try fixing it again, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back after I took the cartridge apart, put it back together. You can tell because this screwdriver has joined us on set. So here is our cartridge, and here's the Game Boy. So as you can see. The cartridge, it still doesn't really go in without any resistance. It definitely feels like it's a little too thick, but it still snaps into place. The other noticeable problem is it's not flush, but when you turn it on, it's got the Nintendo logo on the bottom, so it's fine. You can see the title screen pops up fine. I think there was another ROM patch because normally if the battery's flat and there wasn't even a battery in here so it would always show us flat, it'd be like, the battery has run dry, blah, 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 blah. But instead, I think they like ROM patched this further to remove that. As you can see, it works fine. Now, the other console we are going to be testing with is this Nintendo DS. I got it at a garage sale for $30. I think it was a pretty good deal. As you can see, here is my legitimate copy of Emerald. It goes in just fine. And yeah, you can snap it right into place. But our copy of sapphire it feels like it's got similar resistance to going in like in the game boy but other than that it feels slightly better in the ds 
So, let's get the DS powered on. As you can see, here is the DS. We will simply start the GBA again. And using the DS's much louder speakers, we'll be pointing out the main, the like one noticeable difference at a glance I've been able to find so far. If we say change to save state, then we go to save the game. Listen to the audio. You hear how it cuts out while it's saving? To me, that suggests it's some kind of, like, ROM patch. In the Zazaz Glitch's recent video about dumping GBA ROMs, he dumped a bootleg copy of Emerald, not like this one, this is a legitimate cartridge. And he said the disassembly talked about doing some weird shit so that the save file and the game ROM itself exist on the same flash chip, and I suspect that's what they're doing here too, just to save on money, I guess. In general, it's kind of a dirty hack, but it works fine. But yeah, I think for $6, this is a good enough of a deal that I'm able to overlook these flaws just to have the blue cartridge in my game bag. Thanks for watching. I'll come up with some better videos later, and I hope to talk to you guys later. See ya.